you are leading edge creators in contrasting environment that we see as perfection that assists you the focusing geniuses that you are in focusing your vibration for the purpose of taking thought beyond that which it has been before these are good times and as each new experience brings to you a clearer more defined more specific more personal desire that desire vibrationally emits to the boundaries to the boundlessly boundless boundaries limitless corners of this universe and source hears the vibration receives it fully answers it unequivocally undeniably and returns its equivalent to you in all manner of fashion and form and all you have to do is sync up with the vibration all you have to do is get somewhere in the vibrational proximity of the vibration of your own desire in order to live fantastic manifestations that you have chosen through your contrasting perusal that brings you to preferences of your own sometimes we think that your personal preferences are not beloved to you or sometimes we think that your personal preferences are not allowed to you because you do not believe that you are worthy of choosing your personal preferences but we are here to remind you that that is why you are here to mine the delicious fields of this leading edge experience in order to conclude your preference and as you conclude it it is answered every time no exception here we are teaching the art of allowing now allowing what allowing the well-being that is natural to you allowing the clarity that is natural to you allowing the physical stamina that is natural to you allowing the abundance in all manner of things that you consider to be good that is natural to you in fact this is the premise that we so much want you to remember well-being wants you well-being is flowing to you well-being is your legacy well-being is who you are well-being is what you should be living well-being is what you will be living unless you are doing that thing that doesn't let it in and that thing that only thing that you ever do that doesn't let it in is that you fixate on some truth which has manifestations all over the place that you clearly do not want and in your shouting no at these things you do not want you manage to make them vibrational friends until you get a pattern of vibration going on within you that is so different from the well-being that is natural to you that you pinch off the well-being vibration it's like setting your radio on 98.6 when what you really want is 101 FM and then complaining that you're hearing the wrong music and we say tweak your dial and you say no this is where our family sets its dial <laughs> this is the way my mother set her dial this is the way her mother set her dial it would upset my family if I tweaked my dial and we say then suffer with them <laughs> because misery loves company and law of attraction makes all of that possible or make a decision that you will begin adjusting your dial to the frequency of your core you see it is our desire to assist you in recognizing relative to the issues issue usually means it's something that is troubling me a little bit it's something that I do not quite yet have lined up in the way that I want we are happy to visit with you about those issues but you will notice that we are not too eager to spend too much time reactivating within you the vibration that disallows what you really want in other words we want to help you get on to vibrational frequencies of your own desire and in order to do that while we may briefly stir up or poke at you with a stick those things that you do not want just to discern clarity about what is wanted we are wanting to assist you in turning your attention toward what is wanted as quickly as possible but in this art of allowing we have to remind you of something that many of you have forgotten and that is you don't have to take a subject that has been troubling you like not enough money or like bodily condition that does not please you you don't have to take a subject like that and force yourself 
into vibrational compliance. In other words, you don't have to take something that you really, really feel strongly one way about and begin feeling really, really strongly an opposite way about. Not only do you not have to, that's a hard thing to do because law of attraction doesn't assist you in those different thoughts. But you do have to stop activating the vibration that is keeping you from what you want. In other words, we want you, as you begin to contemplate this idea of discovering and practicing and fine tuning and becoming experts at the art of allowing, we want you to realize that what it really requires is very simple. Just a relaxing and allowing the well-being that would be there if you weren't doing that thing that isn't letting it in. There's not a tug of war between good and evil because there is no source of evil. There is only a source of well-being which you are allowing or not. That's sort of like saying as the electricity is pouring through the walls of your house and you've got your toaster with the plug in your hand and you're standing there and you haven't plugged it in yet and you say, this toaster is evil. <laughs> because it will not toast my bread <laughs> and we say plug it in <laughs> my mother doesn't plug her toaster in her mother doesn't plug her toaster in <laughs> something's wrong with this toaster it has gone over to the dark side <laughs> it will not toast my bread and we say it's only not doing what it was born to do. They call it a toaster because it is not connected to the stream that makes it so. And you are the same way. If you are not allowing a full connection to the energy stream, then you're not thriving in the way you are meant to thrive. But it is not because you are evil. It is because you're not plugged in. And so the art of allowing is just finding techniques that allow you to relax, to relax and allow the well-being. We don't want you to look at some situation that is happening somewhere on the planet, maybe even in your own home or office, and see something that is really upsetting to you and then try to work it around in your mind to make it good when it clearly feels bad to you. What we are wanting you to do is choose any one of another millions of subjects that feel good now. You don't have to go fix that thing that is broken. And in fact, when you try, you usually only hold yourself longer out of vibrational harmony with the energy of well-being. So allowing what? Allowing myself to be connected to the stream of pure positive energy that is natural to me, allowing myself to be connected to my source of clarity, to my source of abundance, to my source of physical well-being, to my source of balance, to my source of kindness, to my source of love, to my source of well-being, to my sense of humor, to my broader perspective, to all that is good. It is really a worthy endeavor. And not only do you feel good while you do it, but everything you want flows easily into your experience. This is not a workshop where we are teaching or really even encouraging manifestation because that does not need to be done. We are expressing to you who are leading edge creators understanding of laws of the universe that work whether you know that they do or not. And really words do not teach. It is only life experience that teaches. And so we want to help you to understand why you're getting what you're getting or why you're not getting what you're wanting wanting to begin to assist you in understanding that life is supposed to be good. And if you will relax and try to get into an attitude of trust and belief that well-being is dominant, then well-being beyond your current ability to even fathom will begin to flow to you in all manner of fashion. Three steps to the process. Step one is you got to ask. And you're asking all day, every day, and we're not talking about words or prayers. We're talking about the vibrational emittance that oozes out of you whenever you are in a situation where desire or preference is born, which means every moment of every day. So as these desires are emitting from you, that's step one. Step two is universal response to those desires. That's not your work. Step three is your dominant work. Step three is you must become a vibrational match to that which you are asking for. As we watch so many of our physical friends, we notice that 
Instead of working to hold themselves in vibrational compliance with their own desires, maybe because of insecurity, there are a number of reasons. Instead, they are looking around at what the world is doing and trying to line up with what most are doing. And what we are wanting you to remember is that you are such unique individuals that you will never find large numbers of anyone who are in exact alignment with what you want. There is never a crowd on the leading edge. And as you are standing here in your personal, very preferred stance, things will occur to you that have never occurred to anyone ever. And if you think that you need to find others to agree with you before you feel secure enough to allow yourself the benefit of receiving it, then you are not living the leading edge experience that satisfies you. You came forth in your uniqueness wanting to take thought beyond that which it had been before. So in that light and for endless other reasons, it is our desire that you begin to make a decision that goes something like, no longer am I going to take some sort of score or poll about everybody in my family or everybody in my community or everybody in my religion or everybody in my political party or everybody in my nation or everybody in this world. I am no longer going to try to get everybody's opinion before I make a decision about what I want. It's too time consuming. And I get lost in the process of it. I'm no longer going to try to sort out every possible thought. Instead, I'm going to let my well-being, the stream that flows forth from within me, be my guiding light. I'm going to start making my decisions based upon how they feel. I'm going to feel my way. Jerry sat yesterday in the motor coach in Tampa watching a squirrel joyously leaping from tree to tree, from branch to branch. The dance he was doing was joy-based, you could tell. And then Jerry watched him as he was gathering nuts. And Jerry said to us, how is it that the squirrel knows about the nut gathering thing? <laughs> is he born knowing? sort of pre-programmed, and we said, the squirrel's broader perspective knows how the squirrel and the nuts fit into the broader scheme. The squirrel's broader perspective has a keen eye on how it all works, and Joyce joyously envisions the happy outcome for the squirrel. The squirrel is not thinking about nuts. The squirrel is tuned to its joy factor. So as the squirrel follows its bliss, it aligns with the consciousness that encourages the gathering of nuts. The squirrel does not ask why. <laughs> the squirrel follows its bliss. And right now, bliss is gathering nuts. Watch your animals. They do different things at different times, not because they are pre-planning their future experience, but because they are aligned to their bliss. And when they are aligned to their bliss, the broader intelligence that is them that knows the greater picture inspires joyously the action that always brings the perfect outcome. And you are not different from the squirrel except that you get to contemplate and define specifically and you tell the universe, now you're not different from the squirrel in that regard either because the squirrel tells the universe, I want to eat, I always want to have enough food. The squirrel's preference is, I feel better when I'm full. So the squirrel is emitting preference just like you are. You are just emitting more fine-tuned preference. But it does not matter how specific you are. Source energy hears every preference that you utter and then joyously guides you toward thought, word, and deed in every moment of your conscious awake state in order to assist you in the achieving of what you want. So really what we're talking about is finding ways to get in sync with that broader flow. Now, if you are a physical human who is determined to prove your worthiness and separateness from this greater, broader source energy, then you're not going to be very happy in this process that we are offering here because the process that we are offering says you're already worthy. There's nothing to be proven.